there's a sleeping baby there but I don't think I've vlogged since I've done this or I've not shown you guys but I switched the living room around I always felt like that was too pretty to be hidden in that corner and I honestly really love it like this we have this stand from Ikea that's been moved here oh by the way my new like oil diffuser from Amazon obsessed with it. I bought two you saw me like the other one upstairs and honestly I'm gonna <laughs> I she might pick up a third because I'm a little bit too lazy to move it from one room to another so I might pick up one for my bedroom as well or I might just not be lazy and switch up the one from my dressing room to my bedroom and we've got this one downstairs and honestly I oh just love it I need to pick up some more oils but anyways we moved the living room round <laughs> she's just having a little nap I'm gonna sort her out in a second uh, but yeah I always thought it looks so much nicer I mean when you walk in the room feels bigger and I just prefer it so much more than just got Mia's toy box here I've managed to hide excuse the wires and the mess but I managed to hide a rocking horse there she's not she don't really play with it too much at the moment anyway so it doesn't need to be out and yeah oh there's an update in the sunroom as well which I'll actually go and show you now too oh sunroom update hi Tokyo I've actually been looking for you all morning I had no idea where she was but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I went and I picked up this from HomeSense. I saw a bench on HomeSense in sale when I went and I regretted it very much not picking it up. Hi Alaska. But it was like a really nice wooden bench with woven leather on it. And I faced on my sister, I think I've told you guys this, to see if she wanted it, she didn't answer. I should have picked it up anyway, but I didn't. And then I was thinking about it ever since. I'm kind of glad I didn't because that one didn't really have any storage. And then I went back to HomeSense because I had the idea in my head now. And then I saw this one. And honestly, it's just great. Like the sheep fur style on it. I was umming and ahhing, but I need to hide the wires there. But my mother-in-law came and she was like, no, keep it. She's, she absolutely loved it because I was umming and ahhing about it. So she just persuaded me. And yeah, I just love my new little bench under the TV. I'm still trying to figure out like bits, but I don't think it'll be completed until I get the new sofa, which I have narrowed it down, guys. I think I have one in mind because then I think I'd move the basket to like near the sofa. But anyways, that's a little update in here. And yeah, it's really good because I've got all my filming equipment, like, you know, my ring lights and softbox lighting all nicely fits in there. So it's been really good in terms of storage, which is something I always look for. And yeah, that's another little room update for you. But it's going to carry on cleaning because we're about to head out. So as I briefly mentioned, we're about to head out. We're going to go to the Butterfly House and book tickets. So whilst Mia's napping, I'm just going to make her lunch. I'm going to make her broccoli, peas and pesto pasta with some cheese. So she can eat that either before she goes, which I doubt she'll want it as soon as she wakes up or whilst we're there. So that way I'm not like, you know, buying her food and just getting her anything from outside. I think I have shared this tip with you before. It's one that my sister like just absolutely drilled into my head. And when you sort of make frozen veg, don't put water in and don't boil it. Just pop the frozen veg into a pan and pop the lid on top. And then obviously as it like the water from it being frozen, it'll just cook itself. Um, if you boil it, it actually, and I do agree with my sister here, it does change the taste of it and you do lose taste. Whereas doing it like this, it keeps the taste and you don't have to mess on water. And to keep it on like a low to medium hot heat and it'll cook itself. So all I do is just add the cooked pasta into the pot i think i'm going to put all of this in here but i'm going to take some out to pop in the fridge for later i'm just going to mix it all in here whilst it's cooked and once the pasta's in you can just go ahead i've chopped up the broccolis and peas <laughs> i didn't keep an eye on it so some of them were slightly well done you just pop these in as well i think i needed a bigger bowl to be fair i may have messed this up so yeah and then I just go ahead and I use this pesto. I think this one's from Aldi maybe. Um, and I love this pesto. I also use it for like my pesto eggs. I also have some red pesto which I'm yet to try. Just mix that up. And then just put like however much you want on it. Depending on like the consistency. Whether you want it quite strong or mild. Mia quite likes the taste of pesto. So I can put like a healthy amount in. And then just mix that up and 
and then when she's gonna eat it, I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese on for her. So obviously you guys now start to give her dairy now as well. Um she's still we're still a little bit cautious about it. But she's very good with like her yogurts and everything now, so it seems like her milk intolerance, her dairy intolerance, is very much coming towards its end, which is great. I'm also going to take her this fruit smoothie too and just like maybe some snacks. I don't know. Obviously you guys know she loves veggie straws but she's already had a pack of these um, like not so long ago. So I think I might take her maybe a fruity bake. She does quite like them. Um, she's already had like crisps. So I don't really, really like to overload her too much maybe some biscuits I think they're actually quite similar but oh she does love actually she loves these organic carrot cake and soft oaty bar so I think I might take that with the biscuits instead she'll probably only have one but that will be her little packed lunch for today as this has started to be like a bit of a food themed vlog which was no intention my intention today was just to pick up the camera and actually vlog because i didn't want to go another sunday without posting a vlog and i realized i have not picked it up all week because i've just been so like busy running around that i just didn't get the chance i thought saturday today i'll get ready we'll do something with schemes and we'll just vlog like a nice i mean the weather's gone like cooler and miserable again so we'll just vlog like a nice cozy vlog but just out of interest because i know parents who have like kids the same age if you're just wondering what mia had for breakfast so today she had a potato cake which if you guys don't know and i didn't know what these were and marcus introduced me to them when we like first got married he was like oh, i want some potato cakes for breakfast i was like what on earth is that you can get them round or square and the closest thing i can describe it to is like a crumpet but it's like flat and obviously it doesn't have like the holes in it and stuff and yeah it's very similar it's very strange concept i think it's like an irish thing and i think marcus's family's background is irish although i don't think there's any like relation as to that's why he eats potato cakes but yeah i think it's more of like an irish breakfast thing but yeah she had a full potato cake she really likes them we just popped them in the toaster and then you don't want to overdo them and then you can just butter them um just butter them on one side and they're actually really nice and they're very filling like even i just had one and i was done and yeah so she had that for breakfast and then as a later snack she had a bunch of strawberries with me and we had like a bite of a brownie so like in the morning she had a potato cake then sort of still around snack time she had strawberries and a little bit of a brownie with me like i just mean this tiny smidgen of the brownie and then she just had some milk so generally when she wakes up in the morning she likes to have a bottle of milk first and that'll be very early on like around 6 a.m she likes to have a bottle of milk then she will she'll usually go back to sleep and snooze again and then when she wakes up we'll then feed her and then like around midday she might have another bottle of milk sometimes she does sometimes she doesn't she's down to about two three bottles now so yeah so she's just had like half a bottle and then knocked out for her afternoon nap and then obviously once she wakes up i'm gonna feed her the lunch that i've just made and i'll just keep you posted on what else i sort of feed her throughout the day and just it, this can be like an updated what my baby eats in a day vlog um because i feel like it's heading that way if i remember to update you on the rest but yes marcus has just showered and i will go ahead and pack her bag now and then we'll go and head out hopefully i think i booked the tickets for quarter past two it's quarter past one now and i don't think it's too far i think we can leave at like quarter two and we should be fine so yay there's that and I need to actually go sort her outfit out as well. And I think I'm just gonna put in like some sort of knitwear like me. Cause I don't, I think some of it's outside and I don't want it to be cold. So I'll be taking a jacket cause it is just very gloomy. But anyways, let's crack on. Is that slightly better? Sorry about the light there. But I've just received a, oh I've left the fridge open. One second. <sighs> right, so I just received, I placed an order with mango the other day. I don't know why I said mango like i don't know what mango is the other day but don't make me it's here so i just thought i'd quickly show you what i got just 
literally, I think, three things, three, four things. They were in the sale. So hopefully, if they still are in the sale and they're available, I'll pop them on my 21 buttons. But I'll have to double check. If they're not on there, then it's probably because they're not available. But, oh my God. This is actually way better than what I expected. This cardigan, I just thought was so beautiful. It's actually a really cream colour. Mm, I kind of would have preferred it if it was a little bit more towards white or a little bit less of like you know that yellow yellow cream but anyways it's oh it's so soft and it's got like these little puffy sleeves and I think this was originally 50 pounds and I got it for 15 or like 20 and I love the fact that the buttons are like material buttons. I always feel like that adds like a little bit more of an expensive look to an item. I got it in a size medium. And yeah, I'm very pleased with that. It's, Marcus, feel how soft this is. Mm. Right, nice, isn't it? Mm. Got that. I'm very pleased with that. If anyone's wondering, this cardigan is Zara. And then my neighbour actually saw me in this. And she's like, oh, I love that cardigan. I was like, oh, Zara. And literally the next day she went, I'm so sorry if you see me walk around the same cardigan, I've ordered it. I was like, it's fine. And then this, oh my God, I'm actually this feel this as well. How nice is this knitwear from Mango? Very nice. Very, really nice. This is like a sleeveless knitted vest. And honestly, I'm very pleased. This was, how, I think this might have been around like the same price range. And I got this in a size M as well. I love that wow i do love that it's so nice and soft and then for mia oh i got mia the cutest thing i'm so sorry the light is so bad meme schemes i got her obsessed with this i think meme means this stuff was in sale as well i got this little knitted cardigan how cute is that literally it is the cutest knit cardigan with little pockets there then i got i just saw this dress and i just thought it looks oh, this is 15 months it's not far of 18 months isn't it yeah and I, well i just thought this dress would look so cute under that cardigan with some black tights so like this is a proper cute little floral dress because i thought the black would like really help sort of because it's obviously quite bright oh how cute would that look a little like black tights so and when she in the winter like when uh, or autumn when she fits into like a little doc martin that i bought her she could wear that how cute would that outfit be yeah papa like it. it's really nice this dress as well i love the material i got that in what size i always buy the size up because they just grow so fast and me is quite tall for her age 18 to 24 months as well ah. guys i just thought to show you these are potato cakes if you were ever wondering um ours went out a date yesterday i think but they'll find it just a day out and you can actually freeze them as well and then when you want them just pop them in the toaster like you do with bread if you guys freeze bread like i do pop it straight in the toaster you don't have to defrost it and it'll cook nicely or toast nicely should i say but yeah these are the ones that we have in case you're wondering but marcus yeah i was just about to say i once picked up marcus the ones from morrison's he said that they're the best ones they're like the round ones and he just said they taste so they good were well, they not round yeah. are you sure oh well just anyways if you go to morrison's marcus says there's a nicer but these are all so good oh were they? Oh, they're chunky is that why you liked them oh there you go you got it from the irish potato cake expert himself <laughs> Marcus is half half Irish, Marcus, or no, quarter? Probably not even that. Oh, really? Just your ancestors, was it? Your granddad is, no? He is like half, I don't know. Or he might, I don't know. No, he is Irish. Your mum said it, I'm sure. Anyways, there's there's Irish blood in there somewhere. I'll quickly check in with the outfit before I head out. I'm just going to show you some wearing this ribbed bodysuit from H&M. And then I've got on my Zara cardigan. In fact, let me just quickly show you it properly. This is the cardigan. It's a nice length. I do really like it. I think I'm going to have it open today and not closed. I'll see. I don't think it's that cold, but just in case, because I think some of it's outdoors. I'm going to take this coat from H&M with me. So I really don't like to be cold. I mean, this, tell me this isn't an autumn winter outfit in august right now and believe me is that miserable 
Then I've got my Zara trousers on. I think I'm just going to pop on my Vegas. Definitely get my Cosper wear out of my little Jacques Mousse bag. I've not worn the Chanel yet. You guys, I also... Time's gone now, I won't be able to return it anyway, but I think it's going to be too much of a hassle regardless. So, yes, I'm sticking to this one because I can fit a few more things in it. But, yeah, this will be my outfit for today. And then for me, I'm not popping her in a new uh, knitted hoodie that I bought her because I can't find the right leggings to go with it. So, I'm just going to pop in, like, another knitted jumper with some leggings, a full sleeve top underneath and then I'll pop her jacket on top as well and obviously we can always remove layers if we do get too warm but for now this is my outfit and I'm gonna have to wake Mia up I feel so bad <laughs> hi baby you should have on your outfit she's got on this knitted sweatshirt from Zara we've got on some H&M leggings some frilly socks a bobo and we're gonna put on some vans aren't we yeah and then a little jacket which is in the car yeah come on then i'll pop it on you yeah is it eating it's got some straw in its mouth <laughs> just feeding me as we go along can you see the memes look Oh my god, they're so cute! How inquisitive he is! I know, Papa staring. He's hypnotized by Mia's box. Let's Here. It's like he's mischievous. Look in his box. He looks like he's in the room, no? Like, you know, Papa wants what's in this box. I wonder if we can smell it. Look, they're both. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang up. See if you can draw it out. <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> so we bought a feeding pack and you can feed them some mealworms. Oh god, the papa fighting. Do you hear him? Greedy. But girl, this is the first time ever we fed me a cat. Mia's done so well with the pasta. She's having some of a smoothie now. And I'll give her some snacks in a bit. Come on, let's go see more animals. Come on. My caption. We see a Hedwig. Look at Hedwig. Harry did him dirty. Marcus just saw my caption and told the whole of Instagram that it was his caption. It wasn't his caption. It was mine. I called him Hedwig first. <laughs> Traitor. Ooh, look. How cute is this? It's like a little Halloween hut. Just giving me a some organics cocoa and vanilla gruffalo biscuits i didn't think she'd want them but she seems to be oh crumbling them all over herself <laughs> happily eating them um after her lunch so ah oh, is it nice good girl marcus is gonna try and feed the chipmunks what do you feed them what does it sound like i have to have a look but you can oh, feed them through the mesh Oh really? Ones slightly different, ones a bit bigger. Oh, she did say they run out of it, didn't she? Go on, so we can see how fast Marcus can run. He's a runner, he's a track star. And he only goes 12 miles an hour. <laughs> I can run as fast as a red squirrel. Oh really? But that wasn't even full feet, it's full Black speed. Black got 20 miles an hour. Oh, you're running away from a snake that's faster than you. I know, but I love how it says human 27 and yet you compete with a squirrel. I mean, that must be an Olympian, but still. Butterflies go quicker. <laughs> Marcus just got sprayed because he walked right in. Right, you have to run past it so you don't get wet. Go. Oh, I missed you. How I mean... How many memes can you get past it? One, two, three. Go! <laughs> Don't get her wet. Ah! Look at her face. <laughs> I've literally not been here since school. And oh my god, yeah, feeding, feeding the parrots again. There, they like buried inside the. Look, I can see one right there. Oh, the camera's getting seen because of how warm it is in here. Oh. oh, this is all cute. Look at the butterfly. We're in the main butterfly house now. That is insane. I don't think I've ever seen them, you know. Were we talking about this the other day? Oh, hippos. We've never seen hippos. We're still having. No. 
tarantula. You know the funny thing is, I'd, I've held one of them and I'd hold them, but I wouldn't. Ha household spider. But... Well, look how cool that is. That is literally just walking around. Oh, oh you like it? Mia's just walked out of the new cuddly teddy. I think Marcus, we might be creating a bad habit here. <laughs> oh, yeah, getting, back getting a teddy where we go. I don't know oh, what yeah, I've got. Do. It takes us back round to the entrance. Ah, is it? Oh, well, I've got the stick on anyway. But look, ah, oh, is it cute? Yeah, is it nice? Cool. It's so soft. Ah, these guys just walking straight past us, aren't they, memes? Oh, it's so cute how close you are to like the animals here. Mind your way, sorry, baby. I think normally you can walk through here. But it's closed, it might be the feeding time. Oh look, Mimi, look here. Mia, say hi. Some more here. I love how Mia just knows now what to do when it comes to feeding animals. There you go, give me some more. Pick out the packet. She feeds them one by one. <laughs> look at her, she's trying to give it a kiss. Mia, lay your hand out, baby. You have to lay your hand out. <laughs> Are they trying to get food from Papa? She has washed her hands by the way after feeding the goat. Don't, I shall need to wash them again now. Don't feed that. We've just finished up at the butterfly house. I came here once when I was younger with school and it has changed. I don't really remember it much then but I briefly remember it and obviously they've added so much to it and it's just been such a nice couple of like hours this afternoon and it's like half four now just sort of going around definitely recommend it for like a couple of hours if you wanted something to do hello so we are at home now it's time to crack on with dinner it is 6 p.m now and i'm gonna make some chicken for dinner i think marcus and i really want to something i'll chat to you about at some other point but well not even Marcus, just me. I know he wants to do as well, but mainly me. I really want to kickstart my healthy habits again because I feel like I've let go of all of them, whether it's waking up early in the morning. Not that's healthy, but it helps me like be in a better state of mind. Eating habits and everything. Like I never restrict myself from having, like if I fancy a Kit Kat, I'll have a Kit Kat, but I've just not been good in any way. And we've been eating out way too much and we just need to reel everything back in but just we get so busy so it truly is where either i need to meal plan or i need to start ordering our you know hello fresh boxes in again or something because that is the only time where i will be very like focused on food wise and do well i think i might make a salad now you might think a salad isn't filling for dinner but if you guys follow me for a while you'll know that i make like the biggest bowls of salad full with so much i think that's the way to go and i think for mia i'm gonna make her some flavored chicken but i think i'm gonna do her because she had like broccoli i think i'm gonna do like mixed veg with it i'd give her water throughout the day but i'm gonna give her some juice i'm just gonna give her a little bit of like the teensiest bit of dilute in with her water just so it's a little bit more like a juice for her while she's waiting for her food and i generally don't like to give her snacks before dinner but she's not really had many today so i think i'm gonna give her the soft orty bar she can just eat one of these just before i sort of give her dinner because it'll be a while anyway so it'll just keep her going for now so guys usually use like a pan but i've already got the wok out because i need to use a pan for the asparagus but all i've done is i you guys know i love these packets i used to have them all the time but all you do is literally pop the chicken in between the packet you don't have to add like any oil or anything and it just cooks it with so much flavor i especially love the garlic one so I'm going to cook our chicken and Mia's chicken in this. Marcus like me and Nando's chicken, but to be honest, I really can't bother. This is a very lazy way of doing it. However, it's a very tasty way of doing it as well. So I'm just going to let that cook and just flip it over and let it cook on the other side. And in the meanwhile, I'll get the other bits on for the rest of the dinner. One of my favourite purchases from Amazon, you guys. I've just opened a bag of veg. I'm going to knock that up to three and literally to seal the bag back up there we go the veg bag is resealed it's not going to fall out if it falls out of the freezer all 
I'm doing for my long stem broccoli is I've just added a bit of water at the bottom and I'm going to steam them and that will help them cook. I've popped on some fresh potatoes to make me some mash so I wanted to make that from scratch and then obviously I'm just waiting for some more chicken to be done then and then once that's done in the pan I'm going to do our asparagus. Same pan that I did the chicken I just took that out because obviously they were in paper. Just put a little bit of olive oil in there and then I've just put the asparagus to lightly fry it. I used to love doing this in the George Foreman grill at home but I don't have one. Uh, well I say at home I mean my mum's house so I don't have one here. So yeah I'm just doing it like this. If you've got fry light you can use that as well. These potatoes are boiling and I think the long stem broccoli is almost done to chop up and then i've also got some halloumi i almost forgot about the halloumi to i'm gonna pop that in the frying pan you don't have to use any oil when it comes to halloumi you just, it's just pop it in the frying pan for like a minute or two on each side and that cooks it nicely and then we should be more or less done i just need to chop up the coriander to sprinkle on top So everything here is ready now to be plated up. We've got the halloumi, the chicken, the asparagus. Mia's plate is ready as well. But I'm gonna quickly pop this all together and then quickly talk you through it. So I'm just gonna quickly talk you through. I thought I might as well talk you through mine as well. But for Mia, I've just gone for some veg, some fresh homemade mash with some chicken in the garlic and herb coating. So because she had broccoli and peas earlier, I decided to go for a bit more cauliflower and carrot. This portion size is way too big. I don't know what I was thinking, but She'll eat a fair amount. Marshall, she's quite good with her portions. And with the mash, I've made some extra. And what she doesn't even eat today, I'll pop it with the extra bit that I've made. And then I'll put it in the fridge. And then she can have that tomorrow. I think for the evening, I'll probably make her like something similar. More or less the same thing. And then for lunch, she'll have the same thing with the like the pasta. Because I've quite a bit of that left. So it's quite good because it lasts me like a day or two. Which saves you the hassle of cooking. This will be her dinner now. And then if she gets hungry later, I'll just show you what sort of snacks I'll give her. I think I might, I've got some fruit bags for her anyway, so she can have some fruit. But for now, I think this will be like the final thing she eats. She'll be fine eating this like gravy and that's quite creamy anyway. So she'll be fine. And with this, she'll have some water for her dinner. And then for us, uh, I've gone back to salads. So with these salads, I always have like a spinach base. So instead of lettuce, I use spinach at the bottom. We've got the chicken. Then I've got some halloumi, which I did in the pan. Some asparagus, which, which I did in the pan. Some long stem broccoli as well, which I steamed. And then I've put some coriander on mine. And then I also have, and then I think I might go with this mustard and maple salad dressing on top. Usually I like to have the tzatziki sauce, but we used it all the other day when we had kofta, so I don't have any left. So yeah, I'm going to go with this sauce instead for my salad. And then that's it for dinner. Usually I have these for lunch, but honestly I, I could do with having like something lighter. I said lighter, it's like a massive plate full. Oh, and then usually I use spring onions, but they didn't have any. So I used red spring onions, which I didn't even know existed. Mark's having some Nando sauce on his salad. Oh, I forgot to mention also cucumber in there. And sometimes I like to add red kidney beans. Meaning nothing you see here ever happened. <laughs> so I'm actually going to have a little bit of vanilla cheesecake like that I don't restrict myself and really tomorrow is when I really start eating better and I think the final thing Mim's going to have for the night is a bottle of milk I think Mia will be very much going to sleep soon. It is like nine o'clock, so she should definitely be going to sleep and be going to bed, which will be nice. Or I don't think she'll have anything else. She just always has her milk before bed, and she's having it now. And she looked a little bit sleepy. So if Marcus sort of messages me saying that she looks more sleepy, I'll come up. I'll just bring her upstairs. But I'm gonna go ahead and get changed now and just potter about. I want to clean today because. I I have to do some work tomorrow and if I don't do it this evening even though it's very late um I just got suckered into watching a movie with Marcus because I was planning on doing it after I'd eaten but if I don't do that then it'll just completely like I don't know um eat at me tomorrow because I also need to edit this vlog so I'll just be trying to take too much on at once so I'm just gonna go ahead and get changed and I'm gonna show you guys um something that I want to 
try on my hair that I've been saying I was going to do for days and I haven't done it yet so let me quickly like change my bottoms and stuff so guys excuse the mess in my bathroom I don't think you'll be able to see much of it anyway so I'll get away with it but I was actually sent this Keras sauce this is a nutritive eight hour magic night serum I was actually sent this in a PR package very kindly there's something wrong with our toilet it just does not stop Right guys, you have to ignore the toilet if you can still hear it, I apologise. But anyways, this says this is an overnight beauty sleep nourishing serum for dry hair. Eight hour of overnight nourishment for sublime morning hair. Soft, easy to sell and protected. Apply on dry or damp hair before bedtime. Spread a pump into hands and distribute on lengths and end. No need to rinse in the morning. So, they sent me this in a PR package and it really, this was like one of the things that really caught my eye and I've been saying for ages that I really wanted to try it and I just haven't done it yet. So, I thought, I am going to wash my hair tomorrow, however, I just thought I did want to give it a go to see how my hair takes to it, just in case, if it's, you know, I don't know if it would be too much for my hair or, I mean, the, generally my hair takes quite well to product. But so just in case it's too much, at least I'm washing it in the morning, but then I can let you guys know how I get on with it. Oh, my battery's dying. I'm going to leave this on suspense, guys. I'm going to try this, and I'll let you all know. I'm so sorry. I'll update you in the next vlog. Before my battery full on dies, if I can get this in, just please bear in mind that this isn't what we eat every single day. It's not what Mia ate every day. I just want to give you like a little bit of an update of how she's getting on and like the fact that she's eating more dairy and stuff now as well. And also she's on oat milk now, which she has been for a while, but I don't know if I updated you guys. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to sort of give you a little, I'll I'll do more of these to give you more ideas of what like I cook for and stuff. Um, but this is what we happen to eat on this day. It's not a reflection of what we eat every day but i just wanted to share it with you guys a little bit i'm so sorry the ending of this vlog is so messed up <laughs> but i'll see you guys soon for the next one bye